Hello and welcome to yet another Transformers review. This is AMX Racer Reviews, also known as Tex Hawkins, that's my real name, and 99 Cents Productions, that's my music label. Uh, eventually I'm going to produce CDs to uh, demand if someone wants them. I have a whole bunch of songs, you just have to get around to instruments and places to play them and keep them. And uh, I'll meander through it <laughs> best I can. I mean, so we'll see where it goes, but that's in the future. So check out my songs on here. I've got a couple. Fighting the Mental War, that's my first one. And uh, other ones are uh, just rambles and just having fun. Just exploring. You can do anything you want to do. Just don't hurt anybody. There's always repercussions if you hurt someone. Now this is the AMX Race for Review. This is uh, Hot Wheels Camaro, Coco Camaro it says. And uh, my dad loved Camaros. I rest his soul. The 2011 RS, uh, silver with black stripes, uh, black top convertible, uh, six cylinder, and uh, and uh, he loved it. He never could, he never let me drive it. And at his funeral, um, the pastor said he never lets anyone drive his Mustang. And I knew it was Camaro. I started laughing like crazy in the in the in the, uh, in the funeral, but I was just chuckling. And I, I couldn't help it. My dad and I. It's like my dad judged people by, not by what they were, what they weren't, but by, uh, if they didn't know anything about cars, he didn't talk to them. <laughs> and he would have talked to you if you were in front of him more, but he, he just, cars are our thing. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to be doing the uh, Decepticon Sparkless Seeker uh, in package, and uh, that's my review today. So uh, I got it from Walmart, and I have it in package. The package is destroyed a little bit, but I think I got it that way. And again, I packed it up and moved it a couple times, and now I'm going to open it up. So I have a copy of this already somewhere else in storage, my ex-wife stuff, wherever I get a hold of that stuff. This is a new one. It's only 19 bucks on on, uh, on Walmart, so you know, I'll go for it. Right, around Christmas time, so I get another one. I like this character. I nicknamed him Ops, O-P-S, for Operation Specialty, uh, uh, I think I'm an acronym. All right, so let's go to the review. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Hello again, how you doing? This is AMX Racer Reviews. And this is the uh, Decepticon Sparkly Seeker, Netflix exclusive. Uh, I got I got my first one on in Walmart, this is from Walmart.com. Uh, he's still ripening his packaging. I'm gonna show packaging like this, uh, and then the interior packaging, and then uh, out with all the debris so you have an idea. Maybe some people want to keep all, all that stuff. Maybe one day we'll have some limited edition ones. We have certificates to show our certificates to show our collection to Hasbro and uh, to mark to people to sell it better, keep our money for it. I mean, we all learn all r r ruled by money, but some want to do it rightly and some want to do it wrongly. So the world works. Is Autobots are good? Some of us are bad. I'd be a good Autobot. I'd be a bad Decepticon spy. <laughs> so I, I'd trade out everything for the help of the Autobots. Anyway, I'd love to meet the people who do the artwork one day. I'm sure you guys have like a art, signature artwork series or something. That'd be cool. Now, I call this a commonplace uh, uh, backing. Uh, this shows all the information you need to know. All the stuff down there. Sparkless Singe up top and Sparkless, sparkless Calibers in the bottom. I'm going to go to this side, it's all black and white. This is what the subs are on the bottom. And then we have the top here, a little Pete symbol. You can remove, you recycle these things. I don't know how, it's not explained enough on these things. So you, you look it up, everything's available, but I don't know. I, I just throw it out. I, don't, I never have enough. If I have a lot more, I would, but I keep moving around so much and I can't get the solid base. So one day I'll re I recycle, but I'm going to repurpose them somehow. You know, so you're going to keep them. Anyway, that's the breakage of mine. I think I did it when moving from last house to this house. But, uh, yeah, it'll happen again. That's what I'm taking them out. Alright, so that's him in the box. You, you saw it all, you can get it all, you can get all the angles. So now I'm going to open it up and uh, I'll show the inside uh, when these out. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Okay. 
we are and then we were. That's the uh, packaging ripped up. This is the inner packaging. I don't know which one of these secret little guys is uh, which one. I think uh, uh, doesn't make a difference. One spark, one's, one's sparkless. I mean, yeah, they're both sparkless, but one singe and caliburst. Although, do those little guys have sparks? Maybe they have to upgrade to be to have sparks. You never know. That's something they can look into in the future. Anyway, right now he's stuck in his packaging. Got all that there. The bottom is there. Oh, it comes with that little thingy for whatever guns. It's all strapped up together. You know, we know it all. We've seen all these plenty of times. This guy has Septicon symbols, so he's gonna go on the Septicon shelf. But I named my guy Ops, O-P-S. Uh, ostentatious? Plagueers Society. Uh, uh, I don't know, that doesn't fit. I uh, just nickname Ops, because he just has to have a name somewhere, Ops. Because he does operations, specialty missions for bank, for for Starscream or the highest level seeker if he's in out of play. Maybe in my, uh, maybe I'll write a comic book for fiction about it, I don't know. So I'll go with it. Talk too much, I know, but that's how it goes. And that's it. These are the instructions. And I'm not going to transform them. I'm just going to take them out and put them in bot mode. I usually keep them in bot mode. I'd like to see Hasbro, if I ever could, release a two-pack of the same figure, but one in in the alt mode and one in the robot mode. So, the best of both worlds. Why build? Why not? Trip building. The instructions. You know it all. And then we have the back. self-explanatory. I'm not going to show myself taking everything out of the package. I'm going to take it all out and cover it, put them together. Okay, so we're good. So that's him in the uh, bar mode at the end. It was always fun. Okay, good. Now I'm going to uh, take him out and put them together and uh, display him somewhere for a good photograph. Uh, the window shot. We'll see. Five, four, three, two, one, pause. Okay, I'm back. Now, here he is. This is Ops, as I call him, or the Decepticon Sparkle Seeker from the uh, Netflix. Uh, what was it? Siege Kingdom Legacy series. It's been a while. It's a pretty good show. It wasn't bad. Nothing wrong with it. Just uh, us G1ers who started with G1 just. Appreciate what we seem to know from the beginning. Is there ever an animated version of it? Uh, in a uh, computer animated version all the way through? Or select episodes or custom fit or something? And uh, maybe it's an idea. But uh, I heard something about that online recently. Um, these are all the parts. And that's that thing. And that's the review card. And then there's the directions. And the pile of stuff. I'll go that a little bit. Anyway, um, one thing I noticed on some remolds, um, the first mold of, uh, see the Seeker's idea is it's, the new ones now, there's, there's Nasol, there's this guy, there's, uh, the red guy, I forget his name, Flame War, whatever, I, 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 I saw it, I don't remember it now. When I get it, I remember a little bit, but sometimes I forget him. I'm 48 years old, I forget some stuff once in a while. I remember all my childhood, thank God, my kid's childhood, but everything else. It's a blurry one swamp. For facts that I want to remember and want to just just shut down and keep keep track of. Anyway, my point was um, sometimes it seems like some of the molds in Hasbro's uh, doings um, are thicker than others in repaint ideas or remold colors. Uh, this one especially is a really thick one, really uh, really po really really stiff. I noticed in the first one of this, it's just another the same characteristics. Yeah, I seem to be pretty good with my toy selection. I usually get ones in really good shape without any, any problems. Everyone else has some complaints once in a while, but uh, mine are usually pretty good. I've, I've had 99.5% 99, 99 almost 
uh, reliability in all my toys, but I don't transform them much unless I want to. I want to put this guy in the secret mode, but um, uh, I don't know yet. I might, I might transform him. I might show him in transform mode. We'll see, because this is kind of boring. And I want to give myself a challenge. And it's uh, a little bit before race time today in Phoenix and NASCAR, and I want some time to kill. Anyway, so these are the guys, and uh, let me pause him. I don't know, go from there. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, pause. Okay, here is uh, Decepticon Sparkly Seeker in robot mode. His armaments, his weaponry on his wings. And, uh, I might transform him into Seeker mode, but then how, how would he put the little guys? There's a way to put them on there. Let's learn. I'll update you when we're done. Five, four, three, two, one. Pause. Pause. No, no, you just pause. Not push, keep pushing. Okay, here we are, and the Decepticon Sparkly Seeker is transformed. Yeah, right. Okay, 99.5 percent um, good. This one is the 0.8 percent that isn't. Or uh, point um no is that ninety nine point oh five percent or ninety nine point five zero percent uh the debt the balance of the ninety nine point oh five percent is what this figure is <laughs> I love it but it just uh I got those armaments on there he's on there but it doesn't match up right I can't get it to line up right and it is very thick. I'm okay with that. It's even. The separation so it's pretty cool. Looks a little different actually. So it looks like you can have like like guns in here. Like these are tip points or like um emit something else, like something else would come out. Like it's in attack mode instead of its flight mode. Have everything added. So that makes sense. Modification. For some reason my my guys always get modified. Alright, so here we are, twelve minutes or so, and uh, that's about it. The uh, instructions did a good job. I uh, just am now as a transforming this guy. I haven't tried any of these yet, and now I know. How's that better? G.I. Joe, real mech hero. G.I. Joe's there. Anyway, thank you for listening. Uh, thank you for paying attention. This is Amex, Amex Racing Reviews. And uh, that's it. So I'm going to go do uh, another one after this and uh, have some fun. You know, I, one thing I have to apologize for, I'm, I'm sorry for my shaky and quick shots and zoom shots i'm just kind of fast that way but um yeah we all have stomachs and we have to deal with them if you can't handle this you can't handle a, a roller coaster in the springtime in the summer new england has some neat ones up here six flags uh, adventure great adventure is up here and the six flags great adventure is up here in new, 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 mm -hmm. six flags new england is up here and uh it's pretty cool i went there uh, a couple years back in the winter and I'm looking forward to the spring and the summer. So there you go. I'm going to find a place for this guy, put him on my shelf. And that's it. That funnel. I'm going to show the back. I can't get him to line up right. You're supposed to get these tabs and these slots in here, but I can't. I can't get this set, set up right. So we'll say he's in modified uh, attack mode. So have fun. See you guys. Take care. Good luck, guys and girls. And have fun. Thank you. And uh, God bless if you go that way. Hopefully you try to. It's, it's, it's a rewarding adventure. Uh, mine's been because I had to. I found solace in it. So pick it up. Go for it. Praise Jesus. If you don't like that, sorry. But it's my channel. If you don't like it, then learn. Uh, but uh, be respectful of others when you learn. And don't be a pain in the ass to people. If you don't like it, you don't get it yet, it's not your way. You'll figure it out. God loves you all. He'll figure out a way to get you. Understand enough when he's supposed to. Thank you. Have fun and take care. Bye-bye.